I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <laughs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk! Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly! <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time! Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me! Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go! Misty Island! That's right! And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man! Are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What?! There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. 
I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you! Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! Alright guys, so, sorry about that <laughs> long cutscene. Alright, well, as I was saying, that cutscene was really long, but I think it's pretty epic anyways. But, um, so this is Jack and Daxter, uh, um, as you, your, uh, are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Alright, so basically the plot, if you don't understand it, these two guys, Jack and Dexter, went to this island. Dexter falls into a pool of dark eco and gets changed into an oxal, which is a mixture of a otter and a weasel. You know how I know that? Because I'm a nerd. But anyways, something really crappy happened to me. I was recording all day yesterday. I must have recorded like five episodes worth of footage. But um, I forgot to record the sound. So all you saw was the game and nothing else. So that pissed me off. Power cells. Power cells are awesome. But anyways, so I'm a good sport and I'm gonna play. I'm gonna do it over because I care about you guys and I promised I would do it. So, and it's not like this game is annoying or anything. Like, it's pretty fun. I mean, who wouldn't want to start over? The only thing. The only thing that I'm mad about is, uh, because, uh, I unlocked trophies when I was playing before, so you guys won't be seeing me unlock trophies for quite some time. But, that's okay. So, now, this is just, like, the t tutorial level where you just grab a bunch of power cells and it teaches you how to play, which I already know. Blue Eco! That's Blue Eco, which contains the energy of Mosons. Anybody play Eco for PS2? Good game. Even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. This game is actually made by uh, the makers of Crash Bandicoot. I think that's why I like it so much because it kind of resembles Crash in a way. Power cells are like crystals. And one thing I absolutely love is that there's no load screens at all. You can just go anywhere without there being a long friggin' load screen. Why can't they do that today? Uh, prime example, Dead Rising, Duke Nukem Forever, uh, and a lot of other stuff. So yeah. than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Crap, I almost fell. So, I'm not really gonna... 
I won't really pay attention to the story that much until I'm at the part where I was at before I restarted. So you guys are gonna have to pay attention. So yeah. Little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green egos or one big green one to increase your health. So, I am going to be playing all three games. I've never beaten any of them, but I've played all of them. And jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. God, they like talking on that thing, don't they? Another power cell. It may seem like I'm getting a lot of these now, but when it comes later in the game, these things are rare. I really have to work for them after this part. Oh, uh, cutscene. It's gonna be. Big green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the maps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you. Alright, well, I'm going to end this episode right here, and we'll do all that crap in the next part. So, see you guys.